It's Battlestar Galactica. Oh. Check this out. Yeah, so this is uh, Ares Games, who have been working on this for quite a while now. We actually had a couple of teasers about it at the UK Games Expo and before then. A lot of rumours circling around at uh, Salute as well, which is really cool. But Ares Games are going to be bringing out a pre-release for this next week at Essen. And mm-hmm. then further on from that, there'll be releases very shortly after. Where you can actually get your hands on the start set for the game, which will inv- include two Vipers and two Raiders. Uh, as well as all the other sort of things you need to play the game. Um, one of the cool things about this is that this is all based on the uh, sort of re imagined series that a lot of people will know from yeah. uh, that basically took over television way before game of thrones was a big thing yeah uh, but they're also going to be working on some classic ships as well so if you are a lover of the old style of Battlestar galactica they are going to be doing that so don't worry about that it's all going to be based on a lot of the stuff they've learned from the likes of wings of glory and uh, mm-hmm. sort of the, 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 what they've been doing with all their sort of um playing games both in world war one and world war two they're going to be taking that into uh, into space and sort of really going to town on showing off the mechanics of how you'd imagine these fighters to be uh, sort of playing out on on uh, on the tv and in the movies and well not the movies but the tv and stuff yeah. so you're going to be having a lot of stuff to do with sort of like the way that the um sort of gravity works and sort of flipping the ships around and firing while you're going backwards and that kind of thing too which is really cool included in the box set you're going to get a uh, sort of a quick start guide so it'll be a way for you to sort of get started really really easily with the, all the different ships which i should point out are all pre-painted so bear that in mind uh, and also they're going to have then advanced rules for you to sort of take things to the next level throw in some uh, sort of named pilots like you're going to be able to use apollo straight out of the start set which is really cool for the the humans there from battlestar galactica but uh, yeah it should be really interesting to see what they do uh, one of the things that's actually come up um in the comments about this is that where do they take this next because obviously we see a lot of fighting between uh, raiders and vipers uh, sort of all the time in Battlestar Galactica, but where are they going to go after this? They're obviously going to include heavy raiders, which would be a big thing. So yep. mm-hmm. maybe see uh, Vipers with different loadouts, which would be really cool. Mm-hmm. Are we going to see them going up to slightly bigger scales, perhaps, with other ships and doing something different with the system? Well, kind of you cool? might get some of the Colonial Raptors. Well, yeah. now, here's the thing. I, I I remember I got to get a quick look at this at Gen Con, uh-huh. and I, I can't quite remember what was talked about in this, but I think he did mention coming out with a full-scale Battlestar Galactica. Oh, God. Well, that oh, would God. be really cool. Is that not oh. going to be, like, huge? I'm going oh, to huge. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, they had a mat laid out with... Huge. <laughs> you know, get it out of your system this week, Justin. This is, the, you know, this is the week to do it. I am going to be Adama, <laughs> okay? Um, you can be Apollo, okay? okay? Ben, you can be Starbuck. Okay. I like I like Starbucks. Why do I have I to be the Daggett? So. You can be Daggett. Yes. <laughs> I'm not fuzzy enough. You would make a perfect Daggett, okay? And uh, so it's a. But obviously, I'm carrying too much weight to be an Apollo or a Starbuck, you know. So, so I'll be an Adama. So uh, yeah. So, but I think you'll make a perfect Daggett. Yeah. It would be great. <laughs> Just as long as I'm not having to be Baltar, I hate that guy. Oh. I I'm I am excited about this, and do you know what? It doesn't. I don't know anything. About it doesn't this. actually matter for me so much, um, uh, where they go with it. I'm more interested in does the sc- the, the game scale up? Mm-hmm. So can can we have a way of having? More Vipers versus more Cylons. So you, you know, just so want to have that nice big wave after wave. I field. just love the idea of lots going on rather than uh, a smaller scale game where you're just waiting for new different kinds of loadouts. You know, mm-hmm. it's um, yeah. I don't think every every game necessarily has to have lots of new different stuff coming down the pipeline. Not all the time. Maybe Sometimes no, it's yeah. enough if a game just works on scaling up you know it's like so, it, yeah, we don't yes. need them to introduce new factions or anything like that it's battle star galactic and it, does it come pre-painted yeah it all comes pre-painted all the ships come pre-painted <laughs> Man, it's just, it's just, it's for me it's, it it's gonna it. be the the scenarios i yeah. wonder what kinds of scenarios they can run with these ships and if they're bringing out a galactica can you have like the ones where you're you're maybe running a campaign, running low on fuel, running low on water, having to yeah. try and hunt it down, but, make jump after jump to try and escape the Cylons. Yeah, as I said, well, um, even if they, the the even if the Battlestar Galactica model itself isn't until way down the line at Gen Con, they did have a map laid out where mm. Galactica was printed on one end of it. Yeah. So I can see there definitely being like escort and defence missions being mm-hmm. a big part of it. Yeah. Oh, well, could they do a Cylon base star? I would love to see that do. as many. 
one of the one of the interesting things for me actually is um sort of how they're going to potentially work in the idea of what the cylons do behind the scenes because obviously one of the big things in the uh, the series is that the cylons could be amongst you at any time yeah maybe they're going to be have some ways for you to have betrayals in there as well oh, where the pilots turn so all the people good. which are pretty cool would not so, be amazing if you if you were able to um have a have a card or something like that that meant you took over a viper because you had a cylon in it yeah. all the time no, i i have to say the only battle cycle like i've really what i've tried to get in to a couple of times never really succeeded but i've watched to more who? uh battle star galactic oh, all right yeah. oh, okay so uh, i've tried to get I've into it you. yeah <laughs> a couple of times but the only the one i've watched more of was the original series yes mm. so when you're ben, missing out man yeah, the original know, series is good but yeah. i've got to say the new series is top notch i, I, I know it's, it's just never the ending that killed it but the, i don't care about no, the ending the the th when ben said about how the cylons could be among us I just imagine one of the original series warriors in like a hat and coat. <laughs> <laughs> is it you? Nothing to see here. Well, uh, Battle Star Galactica, we will try to bring you more on that. Guys, come on. Can I set you a challenge of getting me a demo game of that filmed while you're at Essen? Okay. We can certainly try. Yeah, let, let's, let's do that so we can see what that's like.